All right, guys, today we're going to install Bolt.diy on a Windows 11 machine. First, we got to get the package. We're just going to go to Bolt.diy, hit enter. It'll bring us to the GitHub page. Scroll down to the README. Once here, just click Setup. You can work your way through the Setup Guide, or simply just click this Download Bolt version 0.0.3 .0 this is going to be a stable version once you're on this page scroll down a touch download the zip we're going to go back to the instructions now there's two ways that we can do it first way we're going to do it in docker the second way we we will use pnpm first to show you what we have going on in here Containers, all I have is a llama running. First, we'll extract it. And we'll open the folder. To run it in Docker, all we're going to do is copy and paste this command using docker compose and hit enter. This does not take too long so we'll just let it build in real time. At the end of it it will bring up a URL that we will hit control and left click on and it will just open up the page into our browser. While it's doing that, the next way is going to use pnpm. If you do not have it installed, you'll just install it using this command right here, as long as you already have Node installed. If you need to install Node, there's a link right here. Just install that with the defaults, and you should be good to go. So once this is up and running, you'll see the links right here. Hit control, left click. Once it loads up the first time, we'll refresh the page. And we're good to go. Hover over the left side, go to settings can turn providers on and off uh, put in connections for github go to features turn on and off features etc let's go ahead and close this out oh, in order to use this you will need API keys for most of the providers click get API key it will take you to the page make sure you put a credit card on file or however you plan on paying for the API usage now we're going to close this and since we already have pnpm installed we can start on this command copy and paste it in Whoop. Now, copy and paste it in. While it's doing that, we'll copy the next command, which is pnpm run dev. Once this says done, we'll paste that command in and hit enter. It will go through the starting up. We're waiting on the link again. Once this link is up, control left click. Once it starts up for the first time, we'll refresh it. As you can see, you cannot see the API usage. That's how you know it needs refreshed. Or the API key section, sorry. Now that you can see it, you're good to go. Again, go to your settings, providers, features, etc.